swear to God, so you can call this a sequel to why Toys R Us is getting out of business. And this video will address why action figures are important to action cartoons. And it, it's something that a lot of people, I haven't seen too many videos address. Um, if you notice um, a slight downhill with action figures started... Uh, several years ago, same time, because if you notice around like 2010, 11-ish, 12-ish time frame, a lot of action shows kind of went under and either got canceled, got pulled, removed, um, never heard of again, went to Cartoon Network Asia, Dr. Kamagam, where Viz New was, so to replace, you know, I guess what Cartoon Network did was get, gave Cartoon Network Asia the action shows that we take Viz New, which is probably the worst mistake they ever made in their life, but that's neither here nor there. That could come again. Tea time's <laughs> Um, I just did my damn um, <laughs> indie video. But, um, yeah, so pretty much um, on those lines. But, if you know, action figures played a big part in action shows, if you know when we were kids, if you were born in the 90s and 80s, action figures was a shit. I mean, action figures made so much money. I mean, out of us, it was ridiculous. Um, and then guess what? We had a lot of action shows. Because um, there was a market for that. And the action figures came in with that. Because still to this day, say what you want about it, which is now changing because of you know, how technology is and everything, but toys would make more money than any box office movie. If a box office, like, let's say Transformers came out and made a billion dollars, and it did make a billion dollars. However, those toys, the toys either made the same amount or double that in the box office revenue. That, yeah, I'm serious. Like, the toys, toys really brought in a lot of money for a lot of these companies, and that's why we got a lot of these action shows, because they thought, well, when it comes to action shows, the toys will come. And it was always where if you do an action show, you got to have a toy deal. When Sid and I got, Titan got canceled, that's why the show didn't last as long as it did. Because the action figures, toy sale, will bring in the money's revenue for the show. Same with Young Justice. However, these companies did not know times were changing. Kids were changing. And what happened was... It's not like the kids didn't want to buy the toys because, again, that's not the issue. It's just that it's not in this. Is action figures are not what kids want today. They want iPads. They want these games, and they did shift the market or them. Well, shift the. Um, you could say shift the. Um, I guess you could say revenue from the action figures to the uh, to the app. If you honestly look back a couple years ago, Cartoon Network really didn't get into the app until like 2015 and 2016. I say 2016, they really pushed that motherfucker. But really in 2015, they were behind the ball. Disney was getting behind that too because, again, they saw the market. They saw what was changing. However, I saw this shit back in 2010 and 11. And I'm a casual Joe. And the problem is you got these execs, they, they're behind the ball. They're not up with the times. They need someone who's, like, they need to hire somebody who's up with times. Like someone in the the know-of-all, every 15 or something years, hire somebody else new or get enough people to figure out what these kids want. Because like I got have told you, the iPad, the apps are the future, you know, and myself included. I... I don't play a lot of video game consoles anymore. I'm I'm gonna start playing them again in a later in a later time, but we'll get there when we get there. However, though, the video game console still make enough money, but I bet you, uh, the companies now see that having it on the phone is a little bit better because it's on the go. So that's why you see a lot more video games companies now releasing video games to like apps now. If you ask me, is it the same goddamn thing as video game console? No. However, they make their own version for the app, and it works out for them. Um, I'll say this again. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, that shit is very popular with me. I played that game um, for so long. And I, I, funny enough, I haven't deleted because it doesn't take up that much space on my phone. And I'm at a high fucking level. I'm like 100 and I think 50 or 20. I'm not too sure. I got to look at it again. I haven't looked at it. But I bet I'm in that range, you know. 
And I got a stacked roster. But you get the point. The apps are the future. Um, and Bondi made a lot of money off of that. Pokemon Go made a lot of money, even though they, no one plays the game now. But they made a lot of money at that time. Um, but that's the future. The future is the apps. The futures are all this other stuff. And there was no revenue market for the action cartoons. However, I think there is one now, but it's not going to bring in enough money to compensate 26 episodes, let alone 13 if you outsource it through South Korea or Japan. That's what I think. So... That's my opinion on that. So honestly, guys, I mean, it's a pretty bad idea to, um, to it, it's something that's sad to see because we're, we're moving in this new wave of generation where action figures are not selling. You're probably saying, well, what about Barbie dolls and all that stuff? That sells to a certain extent. But it doesn't sell enough where I don't think it will last 20-something years. Um, girls will always still buy Barbie dolls because that's just a, a girl thing. Um, however, they are... The thing is, they'll buy it. They're not going to play it. Now, for the boys, they're not going to buy it. Guys, boys think differently. If they'll get something, they won't play it for a while. Matter of fact, let's say uh, we get to... You have a five-year-old boy. You give him the thing of a toy. Like a like a uh, Megazord, he'll play for about five minutes and go straight to the iPad. Me, when I was a kid, I I loved that's all I had was toys and video games. And video games at the time was eh, if you didn't have a Nintendo sixty four in the nineties, eh, you weren't doing well. And then PlayStation came out and start kicking started that, and that kind of played a factor too a downfall of toys too. Um, let's not forget. Let's not blame everything on the apps now. The video game consoles have also played a big factor too because um, the whole uh, the whole idea was toys was use your imagination and pretending you were that character. If you were a Superman, if you were a Batman, if you were a Megazord, Transformers, Beast Wars, anything, Robotech, Gundam, whatever. Then the video games came in and they, you know, to me, it started with PS2 and Xbox when they finally figured out how to really get the combat, the com um the components and commandics, not commandics, but um, the um, the mechanics working for for the system, and here we are, how many years later? And now, instead of using your imagination, you could actually be the character and visualize yourself as a Dragon Ball Z character, or you know all the other stuff. You know, say what you want. Uh, a toy can never shoot a Kamehameha blast out their fucking hand. You can use motion stop and play all the other stuff, but. I mean, that's not the same damn thing when I'm seeing that thing online in a video game. You know, it's just, that's the way things are going now. And action figures played a big part of that. The, and you probably say to yourself, well, why not anime? It's not affected. Anime has been a big thing for Japan for years. That's never going to go away. The live action movies are getting there to adapting those properties, even though they suck at them. Uh, other than the Ronin Kenshin film, which I think is marvelous if you go check it out. But other thing else sucks. But yeah, I mean, they're getting there, but they're not there yet. Once they do get there, then the anime have a little problem to deal with. But I don't think they will because anime is just, you know, just so popular. And then you got the people over here in the West who love it. You got people in Europe who love it. And then a lot more people now are coming out and saying they like anime. These are celebrities. So anime is becoming not underground anymore like it used to be. It's becoming well-known. And I don't think it's going anywhere. Uh, even with those terrible movies, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it's a sad thing, um, you know, um, uh, yeah, why action figures, um, you know, why action figures, uh, help, you know, you know, whatever, action, um, you know, action cartoons, pretty much, and this is all I want to talk to you about, because this was a sequel to my Toys R Us video I did, which is sad to see, but it is what it is. But, as always, have a Johnson. This new ticket, ooey. Thank you, come again to Teen Titans Go. Never Johnson D.